Hello, so this is the this video will cover the setup of the project part of iteration number one in module number five. So we open Xcode uh, development system. You've done that multiple times now, should be very familiar with it. And uh, we click on create a new Xcode project. And um, so we get the template for creating a new project. And uh, we're still going to go with the single view application. We're going to make a lot of changes to it because the single view application gives us um, give this the framework and the structure of a project uh, but it uses the view controller as the main screen view and we're not going to be doing that uh, from the overview we're going to use table view controller but we can delete from there what we don't need and add the other ones that we need as you will see so uh, we say single view application and then uh, next and then we give it a name, so I will give the last name and then I'm going to call this address book. The language is Swift and the device is iPhone. Uncheck everything else, we don't need it. Put the organization name, organization identifier. The identifier can be anything. Um, there's no restrictions unless you uh, subscribe to or have a membership with Apple Developer. Um, and if you do so, whatever organization identifier you include in your uh, certificate there uh, has to be the same uh, one you have here. The next, choose where you want to save it. So this is where I want to save it and click create. So now we have Xcode and um, we have the project created in Xcode. So we'll set it up. So the first thing to set up is in the configuration. Uh, this is the first version. If you are a member of an Apple developer team, you can select the team here. Um, the deployment target, um, if you want to change that, if you want to add any app icons, the launch screen, we're going to leave a launch screen here and we're going to set it up shortly uh, in the setup of this uh, project. So we'll leave that as is. Then we go to the launch screen. And in the launch screen, this is the this is the what the user will see in the beginning as they launch the app. Um, so you can you have the option to um, either use the um, the size classes, and the size classes allow you to uh, set up and view uh, your uh, user interface in multiple device configurations. Uh, so you can change the device configuration. This does not change the device configuration. It just show you, shows you how your component will appear in devices within that configuration. So this is a generic configuration that you can use. Um, you can add on different components. You can add constraints from here to, uh, to, uh, to let your um, uh, size class or the iOS adjust the sizes of your components based on the device configuration if you would like. Um, this is a fun thing to do but it can consume considerable amount of time so I'm going to take out the size classes and just focus on the iPhone so uh, switching to the file inspector and take the size classes out which will ask you which data you want iPhone or iPad will say iPhone and just be know that when you delete the size classes um, and keep the iPhone, it keeps the device, it, it keeps a configuration similar to the iPhone 5 uh, device. So, uh, so just keep that in mind. So this is the iPhone 5. Uh, such in the schema on the top where we run the simulator uh, so that you can see exactly what you've created. We're going to switch the, semi the schema to... Uh, iPhone 5 and I'm use 5s here so then let's set up the launch screen if you would like to add uh, an image to your project uh, you can add an image um, you can also set up the the view um, so maybe change the background a little bit for the launch screen and uh, perhaps we add some um, information about who we are so I'll add a label here and um, uh, 
add this book uh, maybe make this like that you can change the font size you can copy by pressing command C and then add by pressing command C then command V to copy and add another label uh, instead of dragging another one and in this second label maybe I'll put my name uh, you can put uh, copyright you can put the year uh, and you can add an image here if you would like uh, by adding an image of you and uh, attaching an image from your uh, project so that's our uh, launch screen so the second thing we want to do in the configuration is we want to configure the main storyboard so if we switch to the main storyboard uh, several configurations we need to do here uh, first one is um, the storyboard has a view controller uh, but we decided we want to use the table view controller not the view controller so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna take out the view controller uh, delete that and add a table view controller um, there is the the template created this screen the the view the view controller in the storyboard and it associates it if you look at the identity inspector it associates it to a custom controller called the view controller that Swift so this view controller that Swift is a specific to any any screen of type UI view controller. When we switch to the UI table view controller, that controller is not going to work. So as I remove this, I will remove as well the view controller that Swift. So let's do that. So hit the delete. So that takes it out. And on the view controller, hit the delete as well. And I'm going to remove the or move it to the trash so remove reference meaning it removes it from Xcode but doesn't remove it from your desk remove move to trash it removes it from your desk so I don't need that so I'm gonna remove it completely so now I have an app that doesn't have any controller and doesn't have the screen yet so we'll add a screen but we'll add the type table view controller so here it is in the object library the view controller navigation controller the table view controller so uh, all the if you bring in the navigation controller by the way it comes with a table view controller so we can just bring in the navigation controller so I brought in a navigation controller which came with a table view controller attached to it uh, instead of adding the table and then uh, connecting it. I'm gonna close the document outliner uh, the document outliner give you access to what you see on the storyboard so I'm gonna close that just to make some room and I want don't want the size classes here so I'll switch to the file inspector and remove the size classes and keep only the iPhone so here is my application and this is the uh, table view controller now the navigation controller is not set as the uh, first uh, uh, controller you see there is no arrow that says this is the one that uh, will be the first view controller so if I switch to the attribute inspector one of the attributes on the view controller it says is initial view controller so this will be the initial view controller meaning the very first controller that will be launched and then everything else in your app has to be connected to it somewhere so here we mark it as is initial view controller and visually you see this arrow to uh, visually tell you that this is your very first uh, controller the other thing uh, I will need to do for the setup is I need to add a controller uh, of the type table view see here it says uh, a table uh, table view controller if I switch to the identity inspector UI table view controller that's the library so this is different from the one uh, we've used um, in, in the past so let's add a file so to add a file you can use you see that plus sign at the end of the file in, uh, at the end of the uh, file project explorer area uh, you can click on it and you can add a new file or add files to your project so it's a quick shortcut 
so I'll say add a file and it gives me the template for the file so I want a source iOS and I want a Coca touch class and then next so I need to select the subclass so these are the options I have for subclasses uh, so yours will probably show UI view controller because that was the last one you used um, I practiced a little bit before the video so that's the UI so that's why it showed UI table view controller uh, for me so UI table view controller that's the base class and that is the same if you look here in the identity inspector to the upper right of your screen uh, UI table view controller that's the library that manages the table view controller so I want to be, to create my own custom controller based on uh, the library UI table view controller and then I will give it the name address book so that's the the main the primary or you can say the list table view controller whatever it is that's gonna be the main table view controller you can call it main table view controller you specify the language that you want and then click next it will tell you where do you want to save it see this group here you can save the file in the main folder so if I selected the, the first group which will be these are the two groups that's one group and that's the second group on the left side and they are attached to the folders in your project so the main group which is the configuration file that's the main folder of your project but if you go to the inner group that's the the one in yellow and that's the inside folder the inner folder of your project so I'm, I'm just gonna put all the files inside my inner folder and then I will say create so it creates for me the address book table view controller so then I want to switch my main table view controller from using the standard library table view controller to the custom one that I just created address book table view controller so I select that uh, like this uh, so that's this one so now I have uh, my class is connected to the address book table view controller notice there's a title here that's added automatically when I brought in the uh, navigation you can double click on it on the navigation bar Uh, probably we can't uh, so here is that so I couldn't click on it from the storyboard I kept clicking but it wasn't highlighting it so I opened the document outliner and from the document outliner I was able to find the label or the navigation item that contains that title so here it is navigation item and it has that title um, so I can uh, give this any name or I can take the name out if I don't want the name right so that's basically uh, that first setup